what is going on everybody it is your boy static shot and we are back here with another youtube video and today we are going to be doing a trailer reaction to injustice now for those who know me know i value the storyline this is one of dc's best storylines to me like i just love the whole aspect of superman going rogue which this is not the first time we've seen a rogue superman and it's not the first time where we've seen like batman making that assumption that Superman later down the line in the future is going to destroy the world. He could be the bridge of the, you know, the reason why, like, he's going to see Superman being more of a dictator. He always had that assumption because someone with that much power, that's your first assumption. Like, yo, he turns to the wrong side. It's Clip. It's Clip. We already seen him thought this way in Justice League Doom. We seen him um, thought this way. And if, for those who watched it, Justice League, uh, what was it, the Zack Snyder cut, even the one before that, and even Batman v Superman, we've seen this plenty of times. This is not, it's nothing new to us. So I can't wait to see this. We're just gonna get straight into this, cause on mine right now, my heart is racing. Like I don't know what I'm gonna see. I don't know what I'm gonna see. What to expect, but. Let's get oh, and it's rated R. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do this. Turn the volume up a little bit. Imagine meeting you here, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> This is a priority call to all Justice League members. A woman is missing. She's one of ours. Her name is Lois Lane. Lois. My masterpiece. Brace yourself. You took his wife. You took his unborn child and his city. Why? After all these years, Vassy, you really need reasons from me? What happened to Metropolis can never be allowed to occur again. You'll throw away everything the Justice League stands for. wasn't much it wasn't much to see but from the little bit I saw because this is only a minute and six to seven seconds this is comic accurate that's exactly what happens exactly what happens that this right here is gonna it's gonna be amazing when movies learn to follow the comics they become that much better. An example, if Captain America Civil War actually followed the Civil War comic storyline and everything that happened, that movie would easily be the best Marvel movie of all time. Easily. Knocks Infinity War out the park, Endgame out the park. I don't know about the Spider-Man No Way Home because th that's, that's a little, that's different right there. But let me just explain something to you guys real quick. Basically, what the storyline is, just to give you guys a little insight for those who aren't really into comics like that, who don't read it, but just love watching the movies, this is what happens. So, Superman is about to have a baby. Well, <laughs> his wife, Lois, right? And she's not no huge belly type pregnant stuff, but she's pregnant. And she's going on this, like... She works for the Daily the Daily uh, Planet. I was about to say the Daily Bugle. She works for the Daily Planet. And the word was dropped. And she's about to go check and see something out at the docks or whatever. And Harley Quinn ends up knocking her out, as you see. And the Joker, you know, kidnaps her. So now Superman's going on this rampage and it's like, yo, Bruce, Bruce, I need your help. Can you please help me? I don't know where, where to go. How to, you know, what to, how to go about this. Like, he was really panicking. So then later on, Batman gets to drop on where they at. Superman, yo, this scene right here, if they do not add this scene, oh, God, I need this, yo. <laughs> they they should. Hopefully they are. But what's going to happen is 
Superman's coming in to go save Lois. He sees Joker, he sees Harley Quinn. And next thing you know, he sees Doomsday, which, for those who know, Doomsday is the one that kills Superman in battle. And he just automatically just punches Doomsday, takes him up to space, and then Batman's like, wait, Clark, no, that's not Doomsday you're fighting. It's um, Scarecrow's fear toxin uh, mixed with kryptonite. So Joker used kryptonite because he knows that if he just uses a scarecrow fear toxin superman it won't work so he has to use kryptonite in order to weaken his cells and all that stuff for it to go into his system so he thinks he's fighting doomsday when really it's lois that he took up to space and his unborn child and he kills you know lois lane and his son then that's what causes him to go rogue and I don't really want to give too, too much, but that's just, you guys are picking up what I'm saying right now, like, like, I'm really lost for words, this is one trailer reaction where I'm just like, and that was only a minute and six seconds, like, but there was a lot, there was a lot that ties into this, and man, there's just so much other scenes that I really hope we're gonna see, every death that I've seen in the comic book so far, I hope they show every single death every last one of them and one thing i do want to say about superman it was this famous line that i loved when i was playing the game injustice 2 if i'm not was it the game was it injustice 2 yeah i think it was so i was playing injustice 2 and batman you know he's going on telling or was it the comic dang i'm bugging but batman was telling superman how you know he had to watch his parents die right in front of his eyes typical stuff that batman always talks about and then Superman tells him, but you weren't the gun. That was deep. That really hit me because Superman killed his family. Batman, you did not kill your family. Yo, this movie right here. So I don't remember exactly if they showed the date, the release date on the trailer. But if it didn't, if you guys don't see it, the release date is October 12th. So stay tuned for that. Man, yo. That's my thoughts right there so far. And, you know, giving you guys a heads up on, like, what the comic book is about and what to expect. So, basically, it's like the Clash of the Titans. Batman against Superman. Of course, Batman's going to have his own team. Just know this. Expect to, expect to cry. You're going to cry. There's a lot of characters and a lot of heroes that you're going to be emotionally attached to. And when you see them die, it's over. It's over because I know I'm going to cry again when I see one of my favorites die. Like, I don't even want to say who it is. I'm not even going to say if it's a guy or a girl, but just know there's plenty. Blood will be spilled in this movie. This movie right here, I would low-key kind of say, for those who've seen it, Justice League Apocalypse, Dark Apocalypse War. If you haven't seen that trailer reaction, go check it out, even though it's old, but still check it out. And if you haven't seen the movie, hop on that ASAP. And yeah, like guys, it's this right here might be the equivalent. Especially because both of them I would consider Radar R and I like I like that I like the route DC is taking because this is how they should be doing their stuff. DC animations is always outdoing the live action. But that's for another video. I'll do that another time explaining why I feel DC animations are better than the live action movies we get. But stay tuned guys. And I hope they don't do like a part two. Like I wanna see the whole thing. This gotta be like a three hour movie. That'd be like a three-hour movie and stuff. I don't want them to give us like a cliffhanger and stuff and then we got to wait till another part of this comes out. Nah, let's get it all out the way in one. That's it. That's all I have to say right there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just like I said, stay tuned for this movie. October 12th, Blu-ray and DVD. It'll be available on PlayStation, Xbox, all that stuff. Rent it, buy it, find a way, legal websites, I don't care, watch the movie, find a way. But, like I said guys, stay tuned for more videos, more trailer reactions, leave a comment in the comment section below what movie you want me to do a trailer reaction to, and peace out guys. I'm recording. Okay. Hey guys, this is Levis, telling you guys to subscribe to my little bros, Static Shy, alright, YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> alright. <laughs>